Hey guys, Nick here. And today's video, we're going over six business credit secrets every credit repair company should know about. All right, so <clears throat> six business credit secrets that every company we feel should know about. Um, business credit is credit in a business name. And with business credit, the business builds its own credit profile and credit score. With an established credit profile and score, the business can qualify for credit. This credit is in a business name. It comes from the business ability to pay, not its owners. So since the business qualifies for credit, in some cases, there's no personal credit check or personal guarantee of the business owner. As amazing as business credit is, the entrepreneur estimates that 90% of business owners know nothing about it, which create, we created this guide to <clears throat> make sure that credit repair specialists, you know, these major six uh, important aspects of business credit. All right, what it can do for you and your company. This knowledge is essential because you'll encounter many customers who want to want you to teach them more about business credit and you can create a lucrative income stream because you know how to advise your clients through business credit building process the right way. Business credit has no affiliation with personal credit. Business credit is credit in a business name that links to the business's EIN. This credit is business owner can get that does not link to an SSN. When built right, the SSN doesn't even go on the application. So there's no personal credit check to get this kind of EIN credit. When you apply for something like an auto loan, the lending institution pulls your personal credit using your name, address, and social security number. This information goes to the credit reporting agencies. Then they give the lender a credit report, all the information they have on someone with a similar name, address, and SSN. With this type of credit, an inquiry then goes on your consumer credit report and the lender makes a decision with your report. Plus the credit you get is then on report to consumer uh, reporting agencies. When you apply for something like a business loan, the lending institution pulls your business credit using your name, address, and EIN. This information goes to the business credit reporting agencies. Then they give the lender a credit report with all the information they have relating to the business with a similar name, address, and EIN. With this type of credit, an inquiry then goes on your business credit report. The lender uses your business report to make a lending decision. Plus, the credit you get is then on report to the business reporting agencies. It's important. When applying for financing and credit using your business credit, you should not put your SSN number on the application, even though they may ask. It's not a requirement. When you do this, they cannot pull your report. They could not pull your no personal credit because the lender can't pull your personal credit without your SSN. This forces them to pull only EIN credit as you gave your EIN, not your SSN. So you will get approval only on the merits of your business credit report. The creditor doesn't review the personal report. This means that there's no credit check from the business owner for approval. This also means that anyone who has bad, even horrible personal credit can still get approval for business credit. Business credit reports to the business credit reporting agencies, not the consumer reporting agencies. So as a company uses business credit, there's no adverse impact on the owner's consumer credit because it's not linked to your personal SSN. This means using the account, even over 30% won't have any adverse impact on personal credit. There's no, um, no harm in maxing out your credit um, in the business world, okay? That's one uh, bonus. And there's no inquiries on the personal credit when you apply for business credit, as long as you don't supply your SSN. 30% of your total consumer credit score comes from utilization. So if you're using your personal credit to get credit cards for your business, using those cards, you will lower your score. Using more than 30% of your limit will result in the score decrease. So if your limit is 1,000, a balance over 300 lowers your scores. This means 40% of your total score is damaged just by applying and using the credit you will get with your consumer scores. With true business credit, 0% of your score is affected. 10% of your total consumer credit score is based on inquiries. So if you use your personal credit to apply for business loans credit, your scores will go down as a result of those inquiries. Plus, those inquiries can remain on your credit for a long time. This affects your ability to borrow more money. And some unsecured business lending sources won't lend you money if you have two inquiries or more in your personal credit within the last six months. But with business credit, the credit doesn't report to the consumer agency. So neither inquiries nor utilization have any effect on your consumer credit score. This is one more reason every highly successful business has business credit. 
Business credit scores are very difficult than cons consumer credit scores. Business credit scores only come from the <clears throat> come from if the business pays its bills on time. As a result, the business owners can get credit much faster using their business credit profile versus their personal credit profile. Personal credit scores come from five factors. Payment history, which is 35%. Utilization, which is 30%. Length of credit history, which is 15%. Accumulation of new credit, which is 10% and credit mix, which is also 10%. But business credit scores mainly come from the payment history alone. Here's how the most popular score in the business world, the Paydex score from the Dun & Bradstreet is calculated. Expect payment may come early is 100. Payment is prompt, 80. Payment comes 14 days beyond terms, 70. Payment comes 21 days beyond terms, 60. Payment comes 30 days beyond terms, 50. Payment comes 60 days beyond terms, 40. Payment comes 90 days beyond terms, 30. Payment comes 120 days beyond terms, 20. All right, you want to be at that 80 to 100 mark. Be prompt or early. Consumer credit scores come from five factors and take years of well-disciplined borrowing to get good scores. Business credit scores are mostly from payment history, so as long as you pay your bills on time, you will have an excellent score, and it only takes two to three accounts on, on a report for you to get a score. Most vendors report your account to the business reporting agencies in 30 to 90 days, so you can build a business credit profile and have excellent credit score in a short time. Keep in mind, there are a lot of credit scores in the business world. Each reporting agency offers about five different scores that report on your business reports. Each gauges different forms of risk, like a company's risk of filing bankruptcy. Experience and tell the score takes into account other things beyond payment history, so does the business FICO score. But the main scores in use today, like the Equifax Wall Business Risk Score, DMB's Paydex, use payment history as the only factor. And other scores like Intel Score use, use it as their primary factor. Anyone who wants business credit report can pull it. With consumer credit, someone must have permissible purpose to pull your reports. They need your consent to review your reports. Others, Certain institutions like banks, auto dealers, mortgage brokers, and other licenses to lend money with approval for credit pooling capabilities can pull your consumer credit report. But with business credit, this information is public. This means anyone who wants your business information can easily and cheaply get it. Think about some of the people who can see your reports whenever they want. Customers, clients, suppliers, and others who you might do business with and competitors. Here's some of the information anyone can easily see about your business. Amount of trade lines, payment experiences, credit scores, high, high limit credit limits, past payment performance, employees, revenues, and much more. It is available to anyone who wants to pull it, pull your own credit reports to see what others are saying about your company right now. Would you want to do business with a company with a similar profile? What, what does your business profile say about you and are you established? How will your customers, clients, and even competitors think about you with this information? Keep monitoring your reports regularly to see what others can see about you and keep building your business credit and show credible image to anyone who wants to see your credit in the future, especially to those who lend money or issue credit. How this affects your ability to sell your business? Anyone who has sold or bought a business can tell you the importance of business credit. All potential buyers can easily get extensive information about your business by pulling your business credit report. Now that you know how easy extensive credit or financial information is to get for a company, if you were a buyer, wouldn't you get it? Based on what your business credit report, would you want to buy your company? Does your report reflect that your company is established? Does it show that you pay your bills? Do you look like a successful company? If you could choose from two companies to buy that were identical in every way, but business credit, which would, but business credit, which would would you buy? Would it be the one with a limited or no credit profile, or one with a credit profile reflecting good payment performance with available credit? Business credit is essential in getting a good evaluation of a business. Make sure you have checked yours recently, and it represents your business the way you want it to. Three, business credit delivers higher approval limits without personal risk. A major benefit of business credit is the more it more than doubles borrowing ability. You already have consumer credit with business credit. You can have 
a whole other credit profile. In most cases, it's the only way to get several staple cards, Office Depot, Lowe's, Walmart, Target, and so on. When you get more retail and cash credit cards, you have access to a lot more usable money. Plus, per SBA, business credit limits are 10 to 100 times more that of a consumer credit limit. So getting business credit radically increases your available credit. An average staple card limit on the consumer side might be 3000 but in the business world, it might be closer to 30000 Businesses need higher limits, and they get those higher limits with business credit. This is another reason it's hard to scale a business with personal credit only. Plus, you get business credit fast. Get approval for initial vendor credit to help your business grow in one week. That credit often reports in 30 to 90 days. Once they are open on your report, you have reported trade lines. These give you an established business credit profile and score. Once your profile is built in 90 days or less, start getting real usable retail cards. Within 120 to 180 days, get real cash credit like Visa, MasterCard, Discover, Amex, credit card to use anywhere. Grow your business without the risk. When you put your SSN on a credit application, you are almost always giving a personal guarantee. This means you're personally liable for your business debts. If you default on one of these obligations, the creditor will pursue business assets first and they come after your personal assets. This includes your home, cars, stocks, and bonds, bank accounts, and any of all other assets. Business owners don't expect to fail, yet, 90% fail. It makes no sense to put you and your family's financial future in jeopardy when you know going in there's a 90% possibility of ruining. Many times the, biz the reason a business might fail have nothing to do with you or things you can control. These can include shifts in the economy, so don't risk it all if you don't have to. There is no question starting and running a business is risky. There's why most conventional banks make it so hard to get a loan. Don't use a personal guarantee unless you must. With many businesses, loans, you must, but with business credit, you don't need to, as long as you build business credit. When done right, you get business credit without using your personal SSN. This means that there's no credit check. You don't supply a personal guarantee. So if the unthinkable happens and your business fails or you default on your business credit cards, there is no way creditors can come after your personal asset. There is a big misconception that because you have a so-called business credit card, you aren't liable for a person the only your business is. But op this often isn't true. To get real business credit without a personal guarantee, apply without pro providing your SSN. If you got a business credit card or put your SSN on the application, chances are that you are also supplied a personal guarantee. This is why it's essential to know how to get business credit the right way to eliminate personal liability and to help your clients do the same. After all, it doesn't make sense to put your family's financial future at risk when you don't need to. Two, no financials, no collateral, no startup, no problem. Business credit is perfect for startups. Most conventional and private lenders won't lend to companies without financials, which have been open two years or fewer. The most popular cash flow type of financing wants one year in business and steady revenue. Many even ask for collateral. Most consumer credit cards approvals are based on personal income, but with business credit, even a startup can get loads of new credit with none of these items. Business credit is perfect for businesses who don't have or want to show financials. Let's face it, we write off all expenses in a business we can. This leaves a smaller net profit, which is what most lenders and investors look at the most. Business credit doesn't look at financials or bank statements. Even a business with no cash flow can get approval for high limit cards, helping them grow. Tax returns aren't reviewed either. So even if the business shows a loss, they can still get an approval. Most businesses lend lending involves capital cap collateral. This is because most businesses fail and the risk of repayment of lent, <coughs> lent money is high. Most conventional lenders may take it so hard to get money because they aren't set up for this type of risk. This is also why SBA demands you use all business assets, even personal assets as collateral. Business credit is one of the only ways to get money without providing collateral to offset the risk. You need not show financials, get approval even as a startup. Business credit can be built in three steps. Every highly successful business has business credit. Most of these companies use their businesses to credit to get as big as they are today. For example, Walmart has more than 500 business credit trade lines reporting on, on their experience report alone. This is how they manage to sell 80% of their products without paying for them first. You read that right. They are brilliant. Walmart uses their business credit to buy products to stock their shelves. They then 
You then buy their products. They use your money to pay off the credit they use to get what they bought. This is an amazing use of business credit. It's one of the main reasons they are the number one reseller in the world. But contrary to what many may believe, business credit is for more than big companies. Any company can build business credit. Big companies are often the ones who you enjoy benefits of business credit the most. This is because they have CFOs who know how to get and use business credit, where most small businesses don't. But you can get your hands on the same credit these larger companies have if you know the formula to get it. Step one, a business credit report can start much like a consumer report, often with small credit cards. The business can get approval for small credit cards to help them build an initial credit profile. The common name for these type of initial credit cards in the business world is known as vendor credit. Net 30 terms are common with most vendor credit sources. This means they give you credit with 30 days to pay the bill you owe in its entirety. Some companies demand you buy their products. Some companies have you pay for your first few orders. And some companies report to your credit fast and it hits your report fast. Look out for all of these things when applying for um, credit with vendors. Some of the most popular vendors sources are Uline and Quill. Those are the main two. Step two, you need a total of five or more payment experience on your report to start getting retail credit. A payment experience is the reporting of an account to a business reporting agency. Some of the accounts report to more than just one agency. Those count <clears throat> as more than one payment experience. Don't apply for retail credit with no payment experience, no score, no profit profile or you will get a denial. The key to getting retail credit is to build your initial score and profile using vendor accounts first. Most major retailers offer revolving business credit, including Radio Shack, Lowe's, Home Depot, Staples, and Office Depot. Most major stores offer, offer business credit, even though they don't promote that they do. For approval, have payment experiences and a credit profile with at least one, preferably two, reporting agencies, plus have positive credit scores with those reporting agencies. When you meet those criteria, those criteria it's time to start getting retail credit. Now, step three. With 10 payment experiences, start getting approval for cash credit sources. It's almost... It's also recommended that you have at least one account with a $10,000 high credit limit so your cash limits are as high as possible. When you meet this criterion, start to get Visa and MasterCard credit cards which don't demand a personal credit check or a guarantee. Start from no credit and get to this point in only four to six months. This is amazing. Considering the consumer world, you must have credit on report for six months to get a score. So use this three-step formula to help your customers get business credit fast while helping them with your main services all right so <clears throat> it's a lot of great information we just provided you guys here uh, as part of the six business credit secrets every credit repair company should know and um you know get help your clients help yourself um get business credit not attached to your ssn you want to contact me i'll drop my email down below also our website we do do business funding um and we have a business credit builder uh, program six months and uh, takes you a to z holds your hand through the entire process so uh thank you guys for watching